I think a lot of startups are using IoT and AI in a very big way, and I think there are a lot of there's a lot of good work happening there. But uh, I would say, unfortunately, because of lack of awareness, even they end up sending solutions, uh, selling solutions which are familiar. So I think there is a good impetus on startups for doing innovation, but they are not. They are a little jittery about selling or building something innovative because there is more familiarity with the existing definition of a smart home. And I believe mainstream adoption will happen only when there is something extremely innovative, where you are selling a solution that you know probably reduces energy usage, or you're selling a solution that you know uh, makes some tasks that you do in your home redundant. I think those are the things that will really break through and you know uh, lead to adoption in a, on, a, on a mass scale. IoT and AI are essentially at the, I would say. Uh, you know, at the heart of enabling and accelerating home adoption, right? Smart home adoption. So, to give you a simple example, right? Uh, artificial intelligence allows uh, companies like Nest, which has a Nest Cam, uh, and that camera can facially recognize facial features and understand who the person is that has come inside your room, right? Or inside your house. So, it can actually detect and tell you that, hey, you know what, your, your mom's on your way back, or, you know, uh, it can tell your wife that you know uh, the kids are on the way back home, or, and they are at the door. So you know she can just ready the dinner table for her, for them. So AI is essentially enabling a far better, finer solution for an end customer and solving. I would not say solving a problem, but enhancing that experience of a smart home through these you know different uh, different features that it can bring in. So facial recognition is one such thing, right? And uh, and then you have uh, IoT, and IoT is essentially any device that's connected to the internet. IoT enables a smart home to be even more smarter, where there are specific things that are not just devices, but things that are connected to it. You know, the generic things like your keychain and your, you know, your car, and you know, everything is connected, uh, and that forms uh, forms a part of your entire smart living uh, you know experience right so iot and ai in a way you know enhance the entire smart home experience and you know uh, uh, technically speaking they are you know they are sort of uh, the backbone for enabling a better smart home blockchain as a whole as a concept can be applied to homes as well so you can have a local blockchain at home which is going to authorize transactions, which is going to authorize devices that are secure and that are signed and trusted by you to say that this works and this is okay and this is, you know, this works in my home. And a blockchain actually is, is at the heart of actually solving the problem of privacy and security. So homes and smart homes cannot get hacked, right? And uh, blockchain, in my opinion, is, is the ultimate, probably one of the best things that we will probably get uh, when we start looking as an industry in the outside of the financial transactions domain.